Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to talk about electrical outlets and testers. If you have an electrical outlet like this one in your house, yeah, of course we all do. You may also have one like this. Um, this is a GFCI outlet. It stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. It is very important if you have outlets in your kitchen, like we all do, or bathroom. If you have outlets outdoors, they should be protected by a GFCI breaker. And uh, even if you have a damp basement, it would be a really good idea to have it protected by a GFCI uh, breaker or outlet. And uh, we're also going to be testing two different testers today to test the circuits of our outlets. Uh, this is an older one that I've had for many years. This is a newer one. It has a different little different features. We're going to be talking about both these testers and what they can do for you to verify whether the outlets in your house are wired correctly. And if you have GSCI, you can test it and verify the function of those outlets. Now, the first thing we're going to do is test our outlets to make sure they're wired correctly. As you can see, I mean, a typical outlet, there's three holes. And the three holes all do different things. The little hole is your hot wire. That's, that's the one that can really hurt you. Okay, the larger hold is just a common. It's not hot until there's a circuit flowing through it. Uh, and then the ground, you know, the large round one is just a ground wire. That's there for your protection. But when these outlets are wired up, the wires can be put in the wrong place. And these little testers can verify that uh, the wiring is correct or incorrect. And if it's incorrect, it can tell you what's wrong with it. So we're going to plug one of these in. Here I got two yellow lights. If you read the uh, the chart on here, it tells me that two yellow lights it tells me that everything is correct. The other tester is the same way. Two yellow lights says everything is correct. If your hot and your grand, uh, your common were reversed. The lights will be different and it will tell you that the hot and the common are reversed. If your ground is in the wrong place or if your ground is not hooked up, these testers will tell you that. And it's important that your outlets in your house are wired correctly for your protection. Now my old tester won't test a ground fault outlet to make sure that the ground fault function works properly. Uh, that's why I bought the newer tester because it will. It's got this little button on the front and if you push it in, got the two gallon lights that tells me my outlet is wired correctly. Uh, but this is obviously a ground fault outlet. It's protected and if I mash the button, it trips the ground fault breaker that's within that outlet and that verifies that the ground fault is working. And uh, in this case, to reset it, you just mash the red button and that resets it. Now, if you don't have a tester, you can still test that your ground fault outlet is functioning. Uh, they'll have an, uh, a test button on there, and then this one is black. If you press that black button, you can pull this out so you can see it better. If you push the black button, the little red one pops out a little bit, and that outlet is not. Uh, hot now. I push my tester back in. There's no lights. That tells me the power to this outlet is off because when I push the black button to test the ground fault, it tripped the ground fault and it turned this outlet off. To reset it, here again, you just press the red button. It resets and now you got the power back on. Now this is typical of an outlet that may or may not be protected by a GFCI breaker. Uh, now this is in my bathroom and uh, it is just on the other side of the mirror from the outlet that we were just testing. So I expect that it is. But if I plug my tester in, my tester has two yellow lights that tells me the outlet is wired correctly. But it doesn't tell me the GFCI is working. If I press the black button, if the GFCI uh, is protecting this outlet, the power will turn off, which means these two yellow lights will go out. So I'm going to press the black button down. And there I could hear the breaker click because it's just behind me a little ways. 
but that verifies that this outlet is protected by the GFCI breaker in the other outlet in my bathroom. Now if I reset that GFC outlet, this outlet becomes hot again as well. And uh, I really want to point out that being uh, protected by GFC outlets or breakers, that is very important if you're in a, a, a place where you have water particularly or even dampness. Uh, bathrooms, kitchens, outdoors, you're, if you have outlets in these places, and you know we all do, uh, it really should be protected by a GFCI breaker at some point. But like this one, it doesn't have to be built in. It can be somewhere else, but you, these outlets can be daisy chained to the point that multiple outlets can be protected by a single GFC outlet with the breaker in it. Uh, but these little testers will tell you for sure if they are or not. Now I'm outside with my breaker box, and this is a ground fault breaker. Um, I installed this a while back for my, my outdoor building because I wanted the outlets in my building to be ground fault protected. So I installed this, and it runs to those. I also installed an outlet just below this panel box um, to make it more convenient if it's in this area. And I put this drop cord to it, and I got my tester here. So to test this outlet, if I press this button on my tester, it trips the breaker. And as you can see, the lights went out, my power is off. If you have this type of breaker to reset it, you just turn it off and back on. Now, and that will test your outlets. But if you, you know, if you have a breaker like this, you can test it by pressing the test button. And when you press that button, that breaker should turn the outlets off. If it doesn't, you got a bad breaker, you need to replace it. But here again, to reset it, you just turn it off and back on, and that turns your power back on. So that's how you operate or how you see the function of a ground fault breaker. So there you have it. Now you know how to test your electrical outlets in and around your house, both inside and out. And if it's not wired correctly, you know what to do to get it corrected. And the GFCI protection for your damp and wet environment, your areas, it is very important because it's an extra layer of protection against you from being electrocuted. And if you identify one of these problems and you're not comfortable working with electricity, I strongly recommend that you call an electrician to take care of it because you, know, you can get killed with you know, electricity if you're not careful. Uh, so just you know, be on the safe side, take care of yourself, protect yourself. But anyway, now you know how to test to make sure that your outlets are wired and functioning properly. So that's it, and we'd just like to thank you for visiting DIY with Wayne. Please like and subscribe, and we hope you have a great day.